Well, hello folks. Today's gonna be a quick one. My name is Alexis Roberson. I work as a developer advocate here at Elastic and today we'll be covering the match phrase query. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and log into our Elastic cluster. All right, so whenever we're getting ready to use a query, it tends to come from a question that we've asked. And when we're getting ready to use the match phrase query, I would like to think a question we might ask is, how can I search for an exact phrase word for word in my documents? And so we'll be using the recipes index here. So let's kind of take a look at how our data is structured. All right, so we have a number of steps, ingredients, minutes, description. Then we have our actual steps. So it's gonna tell us how to make our recipe. Then we have tags nutrition, a submitted field, name ingredients, ID, and then the contributor ID. All right, so let's say we wanted to find recipes with 4th of July in the name. So we want to find this specific phrase word for word, and this is going to give us a good indication as to whether or not we found a match. All right, so let's write a match query that looks for recipes that has 4th of July in the name. Okay, so we have our match phrase query. So let's see what results we get back. All right, so we get back 12 results. And let's see, so name, 4th of July margaritas, that sounds fun. And then 4th of July cabbage salad, okay? All right, so these are all the ingredients that are containing 4th of July. And just to kind of give us an idea of how the match phrase query helps us to preserve the order and proximity of our search terms, let's say if we reverted this to a match query, a simple match query, let's see what results we would get back. All right, so we get back, instead of 12 results, we get back 111 results. But let's see if these are pretty accurate. All right, so we get back 4th of July martinis. 4th of July martinis, let's see. All right, let's change this to size 50 because I want to see. Okay, let's scroll down here. So this is the result of what running the match query. And if you look at this document here, it says a different kind of pistachio ambrosia. That has nothing to do with 4th of July. If you wanted all of your documents to be super precise, then using the match phrase query, although you won't get back 111 results or you know, as many results as before. So here we only get back 12. They're still gonna be super precise. So if I scroll to the bottom here and I look for name, I'm still getting 4th of July, triple layered savory casserole, I think I want a piece of that. As you can see, it's still very much precise from the top to the bottom, even though we're getting back less results. So this is what the match phrase query is. Not much to cover there. I would like to explore this more on our whiteboard. All right, so what's the definition of the match phrase query? All right, so it returns documents containing the exact phrase inputted in the search query. Another thing that this sort of infers is it maintains the order in proximity of the search terms. All right, so order and proximity are preserved. And you can think of this as the search terms literally being glued together. You input a phrase, you're expecting that phrase to be found within your documents, and only those documents containing that phrase are returned. So like in our example, we had 4th of July, a basic match query would handle the search terms using or logic. So we would have 4th or of or July. Okay, so be either one of those. Now with the match query, if we added like, let's say the end operator, then it'll be fourth end of in July. Okay, now where the match phrase query differs is that it's not looking at this as individual words, but it's taking this entire phrase. Okay, so it's taking this entire phrase and it's taking that into consideration for the query. All right, so that's the difference. Now, pretty much with all the queries in the query DSL, we can use parameters to refine our search. And the same goes for the match phrase query, albeit not as many parameters as the match query. However, it still utilizes a few of those same parameters, including the analyzer parameter and the zero terms query parameter. So it's helpful to understand that the match phrase query uses the analyzer parameter. And what this does is it dictates how your search terms will be processed. Okay, so will they be all lowercase? Will they be broken into tokens? 
questions, like how will they actually be processed as text? And so the analyzer parameter, let's say in its diligence to process your text, it processes out all of your search terms. So it leaves you with no search terms and therefore you won't be able to get any results back. The zero terms query parameter can act as sort of a flag or sort of a step to let you know whether or not this is going to happen based on your search terms. Now let's explore a few examples using these parameters and then be able to run these in the Elastic Cloud at the end. All right, so now that we have an idea of what the match phrase query does or what it is, let's take a look at our first example. So let's say we wanted to find 60 minutes or less on our tags field. All right, so how exactly would we write this query? All right, so here's our query. We're using obviously the recipes index and we're searching on the tags field looking for 60 minutes or less. Okay, so this is going to give us exactly what we're looking for and it's going to give us this exact phrase. And if we wanted to change the way that the text is processed, we can add in our analyzer. So we can use either a standard analyzer or we can use the custom analyzer. This is how it would look if we were to implement it within the query. All right, so this is us using our standard analyzer. We can use our custom analyzer, define it in our mapping. Uh, with the standard analyzer, we don't have to necessarily specify here, it's used by default. So the same one that's used whenever we're indexing our data, that same analyzer that's used on text field is the same one that would be used within our search query. And we talked about this zero terms query parameter, the relationship that it has with the analyzer parameter, that is going to signify whether or not our analyzer has processed all of our search terms out of the query, right? And so that would mean that after the analyzer has done its job, then it leaves us with no search terms. And our response to that could be, or the zero terms query response could be, either you could set it to none, and that means that if this happens where all of our search terms are removed, then just return nothing. But if it's set to all, then you would return all of the documents that are within our index. And so hypothetically, if that happened, this is how our zero terms query parameter could be set within this query. All right, so this is how our query would look. Now let's take a look at one more example, just to kind of get a feel for the match phrase query a little bit more, and then we'll run this within our Elastic Cloud cluster. All right, so let's say we were looking for quick and easy. So if in the description field it has quick and easy, that lets us know, hey, this is going to be a no-brainer recipe. And so if we were looking for that and we wanted to use the match phrase query, how would we write this? So I actually want you to take a few minutes to jot this down, write this on your own, make sure you truly understand what's going on with this query and how it works, and then we'll write this out together. All right, so hopefully you pause the video to write this query out. Now let's write it out together. And here we have it. This is the query that is going to get us all of the documents that contain quick and easy in the description field. Now let's run both of our examples in Elastic Cloud just to make sure everything is working as expected. All right, so we are back here in our Elastic Cloud. The first example that we went over, we were looking within the tax field, looking for 60 minutes or less. We implemented our standard analyzer. And then just in case our analyzer were to remove all of our search terms here, then we are implementing our zero terms query and we're saying, hey, give us back all of the documents within our index if this happens. So let's run it. So we're looking for 60 minutes or less in our tags field. All right, so 60 minutes or less. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom and we are still getting 60 minutes or less. All right, so it worked. In our second example, we were simply looking within our description field. So we're looking for quick and easy recipes. Let's make sure that's exactly what we get back. And let's run this. So we get back 59. So out of 5,000, out of 5,000 recipes, it seems that only 59 of them are quick and easy. So it looks like this holiday season, your girl is only going to be making 60 recipes. <laughs>
Just kidding. Uh, I'm not cooking. So quick and easy. There we go. So in the description field, quick and easy, quick and easy makes a great lunch. Now, anytime I see pasta in the ingredients, I'm like, that is immediately going to take a long time. So quick and easy. I don't know about that. <laughs> so as we can see, everything that, re that is returned back contained quick and easy within our description field. So it worked. And now you're able to see how the match phrase query compares to the match query in that you're able to preserve the order and proximity of your search terms as your search and this makes it less of a headache when you're looking for very specific things and you don't want to get back any fluff you want your results to be super precise so hopefully this was helpful again my name is Alexis Roberson work as a developer advocate at Elastic and let me know if this was helpful all right have a good day